again. And that requires a lot of attention here, especially at the back of the Gideons. And interestingly, that according to the head coach of the Gideons, you can say that they know how the maidens speak me, and that it will be a little possible because that is an asset. But how is that going to be possible? Some beautiful football here by the ladies. And one of the players to look up to is Maria Matitidi, who did score for the ladies a fortnight ago in Konaki. She is leading the attack for the ladies. And Sakura Samia will take it here for the ladies. And Sakura is going to come past. Yeah, I understand. Is it Ghana is mounting a lot of pressure on um, Guinea. They want to, I mean, score the first goal before Guinea comes into the game. And looking at what they are doing, very, very good. And there has been changes in the team because they've already won by three goals to one. The goalkeeper, um, Ahamadou Amina, who was imposed for Ghana in the first league, is, is now on bench. It means that this is not a game that Ghana has to pass through a lot of pressure. So it will be good for Ghana to take a lead. Trying to have some and be up against Saran City Bay. Matiti controls. Good tackle. Go from the skipper and the side to Ajina Aisha Oye. And the ladies doing some good business. Julie has to say it. Yet to Kamara. The ladies away from one good surveillance. Good traveling pass here for Yakida Sahabi. Just looking for connection. And we're through from Algeria. We're going to go to the screen. Salima to the end. And again, it will be taken over by Julie Hatsisoni. And the captain of the side, Georgina Aisha Oyun. Nice Other teams' defense. She's strong. She even couldn't score. Not quite fortunate there. Julie Highlands now. It's a foul. A match. And this time around, Kadia to Kamara. It's an attempt on her opposite number, Wasida Sahadu. And it looks like Rashida has been so much involved in the game, and most of the boys have rather come to her. Yeah, she's one player that they always play a game to suit her. You see that always the maidens, when they have the ball, they have to play the wings. Then they make the crosses and then they're using so that they can head the ball to the net. So that is she. They always play to suit her. It's a chance! <laughs> oh. Right closer. Yeah. Right closer. And the technique was quite right. Yeah. For the fact that the ball was slightly above the post. And Sasas is a very good player. She's strong. She bought the midfield and she's good at it. And very good at it. So the ladies are looking forward to their seventh successful qualification at the world stage. Having been successful. As far back as 2012, 10 years down the line. And almost every team was going to the world stage. And of course, we are the only African country to hold that record. Salama to the Guineans. And a good touch for Kamara. 
Understand, right? Ladies. Oh, Again, job. We try to find a way through. We still need support. Matiti. No chance to dwell on it. Matiti. Ball and she's very good at dribbling. So anytime you have the ball, you just have to pass the ball to her. She will run through, dribble, and and give the final pass. Oh, good interception from the Guineans. By Smallish, Nana Kamara. They are less than 17 years, and you will expect that things may go, go touch here. Referee will have none of that. Lamia Atman, not interested. Good win back. The Maidens will try to break through here. Going for it is the captain himself, Georgina Asha. It is saved beautifully by Mamuna Kawasa. That, that was a, a glorious opportunity for Ghana to have taken the lead. And if we see that, a good run from the captain, Georgina. But then it was late for her to, I mean, pass the ball to the, the strikers for them to connect. But it wasn't bad. Not a bad attempt from the keeper on the side. Georgina Aisha Oyo. And the ladies will have a penalty. Good delivery. A chance for a header. Quite a good move with the penalty. And it's another corner kick for the ladies. Comfort level one. This time around, we leave it for Nancy Abu to effect it here for the ladies. Oh! Whoa! It's superb! Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. Nancy. But Nancy Amo has done it. She scored from the corner kick. That was a great one. That was a great one from Nancy Amo. Nancy Amo playing for Supreme Ladies in Kumasi. She's a very fine player. I've been following her for quite some time now. And then you could see that delivery from her. Absolutely fantastic. And then the ball just entered the net. What a classic goal scored by um, Nancy Amo. Interesting. Ghana's first goal in the reverse fixture was scored on the 30th minute. Interestingly, Ghana's first goal was also scored on the 30th minute. That's great. Something excellent. And scientifically, they will have another way of interpreting this. <laughs> <laughs> this is football. Yes. And got nothing to do with superstition. The minute that have a goal. And they are up by a goal. Scoring from the corner kick. It really happens, but for the first time, I'm a witness to this. Ball comes in here. He's been headed out. The Guineans try to keep up with the momentum. Nana Kamara. Good play here for Nana Kamara. Oh, it's offside. And we need to commend, you know, the Ghana Supporters Union. Yes. For almost always being available anytime there's a national assignment or oh, yes. Yeah. We need to commend them for such a brilliant performance. It's offside already. Almost every competition that involves Ghana, they are there. They are there. They are there. They are really, really doing well because support is also part of football and it encourages players to also play so well. So it's good that they are here. And the temperature and the atmosphere, very conducive indeed for the game. Mahawa Jami, the captain of the game on the 17th side. Just let his step up to effect it. The 
and Fauci. Good to see here. What are we teaching to you? Do they have access to you? And they have good value. Not a play. And it looks more like the Guineas are still not settled in the game. Yes, uh, obviously Ghana, Ghana is doing so well more than them. And you can see that tactical play, Coach Nuhu Adams is playing um, the 4-2-1-3 formation. So she, he has Georgina just standing behind the attackers. And then two midfielders, that's Anansi and Sussex, um in front of the defenders, which means that he wants to press. He wants to get more goals and that's exactly what they are doing so they are bossing everything on the pitch and the guineas are finding it difficult to even possess the ball Oh, what a way to set the ball up for the year. A chance here for the Gideons. What comes out of this? In the game. Comfort Yabua is one experienced player. She has played for Ampim Dakwa for quite some time and she's good. Whenever she's there, she'll, she'll play the right back position. And that's exactly what she's doing. Talking about Comfort Yabua, defensively, she's been very solid. Very, very solid. Yes. She's part of the maiden's team, but then whenever the princesses um, is in need of a right back, they just call on to her because she's very good. She has the confidence and she has been playing for Ampim Dakwan for some time. And you know Ampim Dakwan, they are very good. And Ghana, when, you, when it comes to women's football, you just can't mention any other team apart from them and then Hazaki Sedi. So she's very, very good. Yeah, that was a great save. Um, she was actually watching where the ball was going. So she has to come out and, and then grab it for them. A good attempt. It's all been for the meeting so far. Whoa! It's a splendid Whoa. for the ladies. And this is the first time 
that we are likely to have barrage of goals. Great. And the captain herself, Georgina Aisha Aoyom, will make it clear for the ladies. Yeah, Georgina, um, I mean, I was expecting this from her. In the first league, she scored the first goal for maidens, and now she has scored. I, I, I said it earlier on that she's a workaholic. She can work throughout the minutes, and we'll make sure she delivers. And that's exactly what she has done. A very, very good goal there scored by Georgina. And so now the maidens. And the game is really enjoyable. And the Gideons will definitely make what it has to for them. The competition is more or less a foregone conclusion. We have for the Gideons who are pushing and making everything possible. Find those support again. What a way to shoot the From Maria Ponsa, a good intervention there from Maria Dramari. And the good ones again will try to draw closer. Oh, skillful and simple. And again, she'll be at it. Comfort will never allow you to go past her. She's very strong and intelligent. Well, this, this is um, football. You can't just rule something out. But then <laughs> I, I'm convinced that the ladies are through from this stage. But then after this game, they will play against Morocco or Niger. Morocco in the first league scored Niger by um, 11 goals. And it's quite unfortunate for Niger to, I mean, score the 11 goals and then do the comeback. But Ghana will definitely meet Morocco before Ghana can qualify to uh, the World Cup. We just want to get this for that. And the Gideons are there by two. We know five one on our debate. But barring any surprise in this very game as an outcome, I will be forced to say the Gideons are already three. Shahada with the convention by Kadiatu Kamara. Yes, she's really, really working at the right back position. You can see that she's not allowing the 14 shutter jersey to go past her because she's very quick and she has to stop her. So Hajia Kamara is really, really doing a great job at the right back position. So on the continent of Africa, no star has qualified to the World Cup more than the Middles. And their best performance was way back 2012. Ten years ago, they did a third. I know that you expect that they maintain the same performance going into the next phase of the qualification phase. Chance here for Sahada. A good intervention here from Rudia to Drabi. And interestingly, the Guineans are yet to make any attempt at goal. It's all been the made in so far. Yeah. In fact, it's only taken care of. Good play. It's a foul for the ladies. And yet again, it's there. Uh, Rashida Shahadi. And Maman Sata Pascantino. And colliding on that occasion, clapping into each other. But eventually, referee Lamia Atman 
We should help any village to the ladies. And the success and the to effect it. Success and the She delivers. We just start to play. So the ladies are seeing from how they are playing. They need to up their game as well, especially trying to qualify to the next phase of the qualification. Go play from success! Inches away from goal. That was a good dribble by success, but then um, the shot couldn't go through. It was a good one. She go past her marker and then positioned herself well, but then the final delivery was bad, but it was a good attempt. Not the best of delivery. From success somewhere. Maman Saka for Siadino. Good play from the attacker. Moves away from one and two. And again, the flag is up against the Guineas. And for how long will this continue to happen? And the ladies are still pushing. Matiti for the run. And again. Mamuna Kombasa will come out. And this player has been excellent. Kadia Chukamara playing some good football for the Guineans. What a way to slip the ball through. And the Guineans will try to get closer. Salimatu Diop away from one. Salimatu! And the Guineans! Oh! That was so close. It was very, very, very close. What? Yeah, it was very, very close. They wanted to equalize. And you could see how they started the build up. Just from the goalkeeper, then the right back, then they progressed to that stage. I think Ghana should be very careful. In as much as we think we are ahead of them, we have to be very careful, especially with the back line, so that we will be able to defend so well. Mary and Ponsan. The maidens still holding on to this. A chance to shoot! An ambitious attempt. So they are leading by two and definitely will try to capitalize on the lead here. As they seek to qualify to India this year. The captain of the side, Mahawa Drami. Oh, poor communication among the Guineans. Oh, good play here from the captain of the side. Away from one, away from two. And referee Atman Lamia will have none of that. A good invitation here for Amina Amadou. Oh, what a play from the maidens. Good surveillance. Straight to the left-hand side. It's offside. I like the enthusiasm <laughs> yes, of the players. That was something sweet from the players. I mean, putting some passes together, which means you have the techniques in football. You have the passing, the receiving, and all these things. And they did it so well. It was good then. And the maidens quite a poor pass here, and again the Maidens. And the captain of the side will play it, Mahawa Drami. A 
and the Guineans are beginning to fall off in confidence and they keep receiving pressure from the other end ball comes in again it's oh. another goal super deep wow. finish Classic. And she gets a second oh, yes. from the same area and it's the medis today. It seems it's her trademark because she has done it twice. And in one game, just putting this in the net is something sweet for Nancy Amo. I think she's very brilliant and then the technique is there. The technique is there. So she just lifted the ball and then straight to the net. A very, very good goal scored by Nancy Amo. And the medis are out by three. With 30 minutes, played here at the Cape Coast Sports Stadium. And this game will produce a lot of goals. Marianne Ponsan. Success somewhere. She gets the ball back again for the Maidens. And the Guineans will try to get back into full action. Nicely taken over by Zule Hafuseni. And she was impeded in that process. And the referee will come to her aid. Good surveillance and sends the ball outfield, beheaded out by Mahawa Draman. So the Guineans will try to a top side and a flag is up against them again. And there's one aspect of the game that is very visible. They don't seem to have a perfect calculation of the defensive setup of the maidens, and almost every time they are caught offside. Yeah, I think um, that's one tactical aspect of the game. New has instructed them how to play. So it is something like, it is tactical instruction that has been given to them. So they just have to follow, and that is exactly what the girls are doing. Nana Kamara will make her way off the pitch, and her place has been taken over by Nancy Kuroma. Nana Kamara is off. Nancy Kuroma. And again, Maria Ponsan drawing deeper to support Amaya Matiti. It's a foul. Rafi having that decision right. That was a good call by the Rafi. Nancy Kuruma, her first touch, quite poor one. A chance here for the ladies. Oh, oh, what a poor touch by Marion Ponsa. Very, very bad one. Um, she could have scored, she could have made it three for the maidens. Go past your marker like this, a mistake from the defense. So, you just have to punish the opponent. So, when you have an opportunity like this, you just have to score. Very lovely play. It's offside again and again. And this aspect has been very consistent in their play. And it's working for the maidens because you just can't pass through the defense. They want to battle all the balls over the defenders, but then you have to check the line. How have they arranged on the pitch so that you know how to go past them? But you are always, I mean, behind them. So how do you expect the balls to come to you? It's water break. And they will have some liquid under their throat even though the temperature and atmosphere is very conducive for the game they are ladies and so they will have to have some moment also from your shots was the supporters union of ghana they are the diehard supporters 
and they've done a very good job for the ladies. So this is also time for the coaches to have some pep talk with the players. As well. So we are back from the break and straight on to the turf for the continuation of the game after the water break. Referee. Lamia Atman from Algeria ensuring that the game is run and run very well. The maidens again. Shahada. Comfort Yabua. Oh, she gets the ball back. And looking to make it through. Success somewhere. And Fatima Tajaya Samora doing quite well for the Guineans. And again, Rose Boatua will invite her goalkeeper to play. It's offside. One area that the Guineans have still not learned from. I think that the, the, the coach should communicate to the players because it's getting too much. It's getting too much. But how will things shape up? It's just a matter of time. The captain on the side. Are you um, Marian Ponsa? And then talking about the teams in Ghana particularly, you can make mention of Supreme Ladies. Yes. I'm from the Kuala like this. Yeah. As I guess, ladies and all the other teams, and they seem to be going through some processes where they're able to raise and groom a lot of players. And again, a pick away here for the Guineans. Oh, what a play! And it's been cleared again. Uh, what is so unique about the uh, women football in Ghana, particularly? Because almost every year, Ghana is able to raise enough players for the World Cup, especially when it comes to the U-17? Um, I think various teams are doing so well. People have um, gotten love for women's football, so they just go through places, villages, and pick these girls from those places, and then they work on their techniques and make sure they, they are ready or good enough to play for the national teams. That is what the various teams are doing, and it's something special. To go outside, I mean, to go to the village and bring somebody, you train her to become a professional footballer, is something special. So I think the teams are doing so, so well. That is basic what they are doing. Ball comes in here. And quite a poor communication there from the ladies. Good clearance. Marian Ponsas to chase. Oh, very solid. She's been tripped down by Diato Drame. Marian Ponsan has pace. Yes, she, she is very strong. And look at it. The way she, she was running towards the ball, she is very strong. She has the pace, the endurance and everything in there. But a defender, you have to just bring her down. If not, she will score. And that is what the defender did. I mean, to save her... I'm conceding another goal. It's 38 minutes and the maidens are up by three goals. And it's another chance here for them to add more goals to what they already have. Success, Samia. 
Saxon Samia, a player from Hazakesh Ladies. Was watch what reflected this time for the maidens. It was straight up out. <laughs> it's on the crossbar. Poor delivery there, but she she actually did well. I think the set pieces we are not making good use of it. Um, not talking about corners, but then free kicks we are not making good of it. But then the performance hasn't been bad. Not a bad performance so far from the maidens. Boatua doing quite well. Salima Diop. No time to dwell on it. <laughs> Mamuna Kombasa. The maidens. Good control from Saran Sidibe. Oh, what a way to put it to safety. Zule Hafuseni. And she does well. And she put that to safety just to avoid any danger or so. Salima to Diop for the Guineans. And again, Kadia to Kamara, who has really had a difficult time so far against Rashid Ashahadu. The Guineans again. Kamara lines it up, flag up, and again, one aspect. that they are not learning so much from. Kadiachu loses our possession. Good breakaway here for the maidens. Good clearance. It's a corner kick. One area that two goals have been scored from. Yes. And it's another time to add up. And let's see uh, if she can make it three. <laughs> it will be quite, I mean, wonderful. But then let's wait and see. It's 42 minutes. And just three minutes plus other time to go. Uh, because of the water break, we might have a couple of minutes as stoppage time or other time. This time around. Is she likely to make it? Hey! It's been headed by Mary and Ponsa, but not on target. And again, the maidens will try to make things come for themselves. The captain of the side just trying to clear. Good touch. A chance here for the Marys. <laughs> Eluding everyone. But Mortiti was nearly closer to that ball. But it evaded almost everyone. The support has been massive so far. A handful of spectators here this afternoon. The captain on the side. Quite a poor clearance there. Amirata Bangura. Amirata Bangura. In my 18th center for the Guineans. Boachua. Comfort here, boy. It's offside. And quite a poor complication. So, speaking from a tactical point of view, you could see that there's a switch in position from the maidens mm -hmm. where Matiti has now moved to the right hand side of attack, allowing. Maria and Ponsan to nail the attack. Yeah. And that looks very tactical and yes. a good one here for the maidens. That's great. Kamara at it again. Oh, quite a poor touch. 
Marian Ponsa, will she be able to hold on to that? One unique thing about Ghana is that almost all the captains of the various national teams don't their number 10 jersey. Oh, yes. <laughs> It's, it's something unique. It's something unique. It's a good observation, though. And they, sh they exhibit the qualities of a leader. And that is what Georgina is doing. She, she is very calm on the pitch, but then she makes sure she delivers anytime you need her. There's something unique about the number 10 jersey when it comes to Ghana. Good exchange. She goes down. Nothing will be awarded her. Mary and Ponson will just look into control that. Oh, what a way to do some good exchange. A chance here for the fourth. Poor kick again. And the goalkeeper also spills it out. And it's a corner kick for the ladies. That was a, a great opportunity for Ghana to have made it fall. But then it was quite unfortunate. She couldn't put the ball at the back of the net. The goalkeeper is not um, all that exceptional. So whenever you have the ball, Behind the 18 or the 16, at the moment you shoot, you can get a goal. So I think the forwards should be in a more clinical so that they can get more goals for the maidens. So the confirmation of the other time, there are two minutes of other time for stoppages and of course water break. Babano trying to show some skills there, the head coach of the Maidens. The Maidens again. Good play here from the captain. A chance! Oh, off the post! It's offside! <laughs> Another great pass from the captain, Georgina. I always say she's very good. From the start of this qualified games, she has been there. She has been playing so, so well. And she gave a good pass, but then it was quite unfortunate. It has to hit the goal post, and they couldn't score. Well, the maiden is still struggling. Oh. And the maiden are still struggling with chances. Despite going up by three, they've been missing a couple of clear card opportunities. Fatmata Yaya Samura has been impeded and referee Atma Lamia from Algeria will come to the aid of the Guineans. The captain delivers a long ball. Oh, poor communication there. Aren't nothing to scare Amina Ahamadou. The referee have had a second look at their watch. When any time soon, the referee will go for the end of the first half to what has been a game of many chances. It's half time here at the Cape Coast Sports Stadium. A strainer at halftime for the maidens. And two wonderful and excellent goals from Nancy Amo. And of course, the third added by the captain on the side will ensure that the maidens go into the break with a three goal lead. And they have proved that indeed they are one of the best when it comes to the U17 on the continent of Africa. The first half is over, and they are leading by three. It was a great first half, and I think tactically the maidens were good. They did what they were supposed to do. I believe the players followed what No Adams actually told them before the start of the game. No Baba, sorry, and that is what they did. And it has given them a three-goal lead. And I don't think the Guineans will come back in the second half and equalize and probably maybe... Um, have goals that will actually help them qualify.
football cuts across all religions, all political parties. Let's come together and build our football. This is the sport that has made me who I am today. It is the sport that feeds millions of people. It is the sport that unites this country. It is our responsibility to hold on to this sport and then ensure we leave for a lasting legacy to generations unborn. Our football is coming back. We will be a stronger force, we will be the most loved sport, and we'll, together we will ignite passion and create world for each one of us. My name is Ayala Prosper. Come from the region of Upper East in the town of Nipine. It has always been my passion to join with me. I was really scared when I was entering into the middle and that was also my first match. My instructor told me to enter. I was